All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to set up and use the ProBot for your Discord voice chat server. So what is it? It's a bot that primarily focuses on a lot of different server utility, the top feature being the automatic moderation. It prevents people from posting certain things, being nasty, spamming, all that stuff automatically so that you don't have to worry about nearly as much of it. It's basically why a lot of people used to install the Mi6 bot, but now you can use this bot instead. So let's take a look at some of the features. It lets you welcome people with custom messages. It's got raid protection in case you're like a streamer or somebody who's got a public server like I do, and you want to keep people from running in there and being a pest. Like I said before, it's got automatic moderation. It's multilingual. Blah. It's multilingual, so it runs with more than just English. It's got 13 languages. It's got an automatic responder feature, so if somebody asks a common question, you can program it so that it'll automatically give them a, an answer so that you don't have to constantly answer the same questions over and over and over again. And it's got 99.9% .9 uptime. And you can kind of see, if you scroll through this website, some of the more in-depth features, if you want to use this. And most of these features are for the low, low price of absolutely free. So let's take a look here. So all you gotta do to add it is just click the Add button, and then it'll add it to your server, and then you can log into the dashboard in order to do your thing. So let's take a look here at the dashboard and everything that is built in. So the first thing here is it's got a little identification here at the top of all your stats so you can tell what's going on with your server how many members you have how many members are online although i do believe i've got more members online than that yeah i got a lot of members online so i don't know why it says there's zero members online but that doesn't really make much of a difference so it tries to keep an idea of what all of your members are like how many people are joining, leaving, all that stuff. You can also adjust some of the basic settings for the bot, what language it runs in, what the prefix is for the bot. I just like to set a lot of my prefixes for bots that I'm going to keep around a really long time for things that aren't common, so I set my prefix to dash dash. And then over here, you can compose an embedded message with things like links and pictures and stuff so that it pops up automatically into chat kind of like how the music bot here has got all this information that pops up for when you play music that's an embedded message so you can customize and add those here and compose those let's actually take a look at the embed so it's got some stuff here that you can add content title description a url an image whatever and it kind of has all these different pieces that you can piece together to embed different information if you want to share stuff with people. But I don't really need this, so I'll delete that for right now. It's got a bunch of different utility commands that you can enable or disable at your leisure. You can even disable the entire set of commands entirely with this little toggle up here at the top. And this lets people either your moderators, your admins, or your users do things like use a command to move themselves if they can't, like, use their mouse at this moment. Oh, whoops. What did I just, just open up, like, 50 things. Uh, you've also got things like you can use profile to view someone else's customizable personal global profile card for ProBot. All of these different tools are at your disposal. You've got different moderation tools, which I really like. Here you can do like ban, unban, kick, v kick from a voice channel. So they just like boots them out of voice, but it doesn't kick them from the server. And then down here, the feature that I primarily picked this up for is this is the auto moderation section. So let's say you have it set up so that somebody spams five messages per five seconds. You have different options here. You can mute the member, you can warn them, delete the message. Um, you can even add all of these. So I'm gonna say delete the messages and then warn the member not to do that. If they use bad words, you can do something similar, duplicate text. I'm just gonna say delete the message, repeating messages, 
just delete the message. Discord invites, uh, delete the message, warn the user, and then mute them because a lot of people abuse that feature. Links, general links, I don't mind if you post those in the channels, so that's not a big deal. Emoji spam, delete the messages and warn the member. Mass mentioning people, they can't do that anyway, so that doesn't matter. Spamming caps, I don't really care if you use all caps personally, but if you do, you can likewise change that. You can set it to ignore certain channels, like let's say I'm going to have it ignore the admin discussion channel, the staff channel. Uh, let's go with the announcement channel as well. And then maybe the rules channel. You can also have it ignore certain roles, so I could have it ignore all of my moderation roles. And then you can have image only channels or only YouTube links in certain channels channels. All those things are really nice features to have, although I wouldn't mind it if some of these features also gave me the ability to ban people, but I have a feeling that might be an unspoken rule with the bot in general. Here you can set it up so it actually sends an automatic welcome to people after they've joined your server. I'm not really big on spam, even like really friendly spam, so I'm gonna leave this off, but you've got the option to enable both of these and customize them. And then this is actually something that I like a lot, the auto responder system. So if you've got somebody that is constantly popping in and asking the same questions, like a lot of people pop into my server asking what happened to the self-promotion channel, uh, instead of having to constantly answer the same question over and over again, you can set it up so that people have the message automatically sent to them. So let's say, because uh, people always complain that not everybody's talking all of the time in servers everywhere, let's just say dead chat. And then the bot will automatically respond to anybody that says something about dead chat and it'll say user. Actually, let's not ping them. Instead, let's do username. Hey, if you're Hey, if you're worried about a dead chat, why don't you help liven things up? And then this will automatically post whenever somebody posts that. And then this won't happen when somebody posts about it from the moderation team, because that would be really annoying if you're answering a question and you, you get pinged by the bot yourself. And then we can disable it in certain channels so it doesn't pop up in the announcement channel or the rules channel or the admin discussion channel or the staff channel, for examples. Well, let's not do it in the newsroom either. Uh, bot commands, I don't really care if it ends up there. But yeah, that's that's basically the, the gist of it. So you can add this response. And then whenever somebody types in anything about a dead chat, they'll get this little message. Next up, we've got the leveling system. Now, I like using a leveling system because I like to reward people for participating in the community with some type of reward. Now, when you add it, you got to have a role to add for a reward if you want to do that. So make that first in your server. And then you can set what the prerequisites are to get that role. So when you add a role, you can set how long they have to be texting and typing for. I said you gotta type for like a day and then some to get your first rank. And then to get the second rank, you gotta be around active for over a week at least of time. You can also set it so people have to be in voice chat using voice chat for a certain amount of time too, but uh, the voice chat isn't really a huge feature of my server yet, so I've disabled that what role you want to give them, and then do you want to remove other roles that are redundant as people get the higher level rewards? And I said yes, and I also told it to direct message people so that they know that they got it. And then at any point, people can see who's got the top ranking on the server, and then who's got, like, what is your current rank by typing in this command. Log channel, this is actually a really nice channel that are setting to have. Um, I can set it so that when somebody gets updated on the server, it sends something to my log channel. Uh, members banned and unbanned. 
those are already kind of tracked by Discord automatically, so you don't really need that, but I could set that up. So let's go to log channel. Let's say bans and unbans are like a red and like a hot pink. Is that kind of like a hot pink? That's kind of like a hot pink. And then we'll enable this. And down here, member join, member left. I don't really need those messages edited. Those are already kept at logs of when you edited things. Messages deleted. Moderation commands used. That's something that's useful. I'd put that in the log channel. Uh, server invites. When somebody generates an invite, I would keep track of that for one reason. People like to jump into a server generate a server invite and then send it to all of their friends to jump in and troll people. So it's really good idea to keep an eye on those depending on what kind of cha the server that you run. And you can determine for yourselves which ones of these you want to keep track of. But I like the idea that when certain things happen on your server and you want to keep track of what your admins are doing, what your moderators are doing, what your users are doing, this would let you know if somebody's being a butt and misusing their abilities or their privileges. So you can enable and disable these at will. I, those are kind of handy. Colors, you can change the colors for different things attached to the bot when it posts things. I'm fine with these being default. Auto roles. This will automatically assign people a role when they join the server if you want them to, which is really handy. And this allows you to set it up so that you can make it so that people click on a uh, an emoji in order to set up a role. I'm going to do that in a different tutorial because that's a little bit more invasive, but it's available if you decide that you want it. And then down here, it's got a bunch of music stuff that you can set up. You can play, skip, search, cue, stop, all this stuff. And you can set up what role is your DJ role to control the bot. And I think that's handy. I mean, it's always nice to have a music bot and you don't have to go install yet another bot if you don't really need all of the advanced features. But because I already use music bots like the Rayong bot, I don't really have to worry about this. So I'm going to leave this off so I don't have two bots competing. And I also don't have to worry about people trying to troll each other. So down here, we've also got control panel log. This tells it everything that I've personally changed on here. So if anyone else logs into this and looks at what I've been doing, it's all kept track of right here. And then down here, this keeps track of all of the moderation actions or commands that are used by my moderation staff. It'll be logged here for me to look at. Now, I will say there are some things that they list as being premium features, but right now I don't see anything that lets you purchase premium. So I'm guessing that's going to be a suite of more advanced features that they'll be rolling out in the not too distant future. But for right now, I like this bot. It's got a lot of really strong, powerful utility. And if you like using that and you need an auto moderation bot, I would totally recommend this. So until next time, I've been your host, Larry. This has been a look at ProBot and I'll catch you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them in the comment section as best as I can. That's it for now, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Bye, everybody.